Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and welcome to my tower. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the Disney t-shirts that I currently have in my closet. I unfortunately don't have any vintage Disney tees, although I would really like to start collecting them. So if you have any recommendations for me for websites to get vintage Disney tees from, please let me know because I'm definitely in the market for those. So I have my t-shirts categorized by official Disney products and small shop products. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. So just to kind of show you guys what I'm working with today, the these are all of my small shop tees and then these are all of my official Disney tees. So I guess we'll start with these ones first. So first we have my Run Disney tee and if you haven't seen my Run Disney vlog, I will have it linked down below. It was such a fun experience. When we did the race, they just gave us this shirt for free at the expo. So it just says 2024 Run Disney, Disney Princess Enchanted 10K presented by Corksicle. I just really love the artwork on this. I think it's so cute. We just have Rapunzel, you know, running past the tower with like a bunch of tangled icons. And on the back, it just has a bunch of the sponsor logos and then on the sleeve we have the run disney logo as well i really enjoy working out on this i really love the color of this tee and i'm so glad that i was able to get it for free so yeah this is my one and only run disney t-shirt and i love it and i'm not going in any kind of specific order these are just the order that i hung them up in so that's what we're rolling with this is my disneyland tee so it just has goofy minnie mickey and donald under this like rainbow in front of the disneyland castle and then we just have the disneyland logo across the bottom as well and so i Obviously, I got this from Disneyland. I went in March of 2022. I will also have those vlogs linked down below if you want to check those out. But the reason that I picked up this shirt is because obviously it's a rainbow, but I do wish this had a little bit more color to it because I honestly never really reach for this shirt unless I'm doing like a Disneyland specific kind of video or something. So this shirt is 50% cotton and 50% polyester, and I don't necessarily love the material of this. It's almost like a little bit scratchy in my opinion, but I'm still happy that I have this because it's just like a memory from my Disneyland trip. And then next we have my Disneyland. Disney 100 exhibition tee and I literally just washed this so I don't know what this stain is but it's gonna drive me nuts. One of my other tees that I'll show you in a minute also has a stain and I don't know what this is from. I mean they were fine before I put them in the washer so I don't know what's going on with my washer that my shirts are getting these like oil stains because they're not drying and it's really frustrating me but anyway on the front it just has the Disney 100 exhibition logo. On the back we just have once again the logo in the bottom corner but we also have these like I don't know if it's supposed to be like a stained glass or like a projection kind of effect but we just have have a Star Wars droid, we have Miguel from Coco, we have Tinkerbell, we have the Black Panther and Simba, and then Sorcerer Mickey on the bottom pointing up to all of them, which is my favorite part of this t-shirt. So I picked this up at the exhibition, obviously, which was last summer, I believe. Once again, we'll have that vlog link down below, but I don't necessarily love this t-shirt because the neck is so wide, and when I'm wearing it, it almost like crinkles up a little bit, and it just doesn't really fit very flattering. But yeah, for the most part, I really don't like the way this fits. Don't wear this one too often, and the material of this shirt is 100% cotton. Okay, my arm was burning, so I had to switch sides. But up next, we have my Walt Disney World 50th tee, and I picked this one up. I don't remember because I have a memory of a goldfish, but I do remember getting this in the airport. But this just has Mickey in his 50th attire looking so cute. He's just fixing up his little bow tie and, you know, standing in his typical little stance. But what I love about this tee is that it's just like so simple. It's just white, and we just have the Walt Disney World 50th logo in the gold. And I was a huge fan of the majority of the 50th merch, so so I'm very happy to have this tee. This t-shirt is 60% cotton and 40% polyester. And this is one of my favorite Disney tees that I own because I love the material of this and the way that it fits me, but this is just my four town tee. So we just have the four town for life and the band members. And at the bottom, it just says world tour 02. And then the back is another reason that I love this so much because it's like a typical world tour kind of band tee and it just looks so real. And I just love it for that reason. We just have all the names of the four town members and all their tour dates and where they stop and at the bottom it says nobody like you so this is so cute and i really like how it's kind of marled as well because it's not just like a solid black a solid gray it's just like a really nice color and the tag says that this is 100 percent cotton so maybe that's why i love it so much and this shirt does run big and i know that disney does tend to restock this here and there so if you're interested in picking this up just be aware that it does fit oversized so i got an extra large which is kind of what i would normally wear but this one fits more like a two maybe even a three x so just keep that in mind if you want to pick this up but yeah this shirt is so comfortable and so cute. Then up next we have another white Disney tee and this is just the Walt Disney World tee. I don't really know what to call this but the reason that I love this shirt so much is that on the back it has all the opening dates for the rides up until Rise of the Resistance in 2019. So I just think that this is so like commemorative and it's a really special tee for that reason. And then along the bottom we have the four park icons. We have the Walt Disney World logo on the back. And then on the front I'm not the biggest fan even though it is like rainbow colors. It's still like darker colors than I would prefer. So we just have the big 
big Walt Disney World logo, which again, I'm not a huge fan of this logo. We just have like a bunch of random park icons along the front, but yeah, like I said, I don't really wear this shirt for the front. I love this shirt for the back. And this is once again, a 100% cotton tee, but again, it doesn't really feel like my four town tee. I think this is just like a thinner material, I guess. But yeah, I love this shirt and I wear this one all the time as well. Switching arms again, but now we just have my nostalgic Walt Disney World tee is what I call this. So we just have a bunch of Disney characters on the front in front of the Cinderella castle. And we have the old Walt Disney World logo, which I absolutely love. I wish we would bring that back. This is the logo that we see on the gates. And then it just says where dreams come true. And then there's nothing on the back of this, but the material is 90% cotton and 10% polyester. It's not super soft or anything like that, but this design is the main reason that I love this t-shirt. And honestly, I wear it more than I would like to just because I feel like the screen printing of this is starting to peel off a little bit, which doesn't make me super happy. But I love this tee so much. It fits a little bit more true to size and it's so cute. I actually think they do still have this in the parks. So if they do, you should totally pick it up because it is a perfect nostalgic Disney tee. And I believe I picked up this t-shirt on my trip in October of last year, but this is just the Disney 100 tee. And the material of this one is 100% cotton. So it's pretty soft. But what I love about this is not only like the nice, you know, beige yellow kind of cream base that we have, but how vibrant this logo is. This one is once again, the screen printed on and it just says 100 years of music and wonder. And I really love that we have Rapunzel playing the guitar over here. And we also have Tinkerbell right underneath the castle. We also have Lewis, which I love, and Figment playing a violin. So it's just so cute. And I feel like wearing this with my purple skirt that I usually style this with is adorable as well because it just really makes all the colors in this pop. But yeah, I really love wearing this, styling it. It's such a fun piece in my collection and I love it. So here's my last official Disney Parks tee. And this one I picked up, I believe once again on my trip in October of last year. This one is so freaking cute. It's my absolute favorite tee in my collection. So we just have Tinkerbell in front of the castle with a bunch of like pixie dust behind her. We have the Walt Disney World logo along the bottom and there is nothing on the back of this tee. It is 100% cotton and the reason that I love this so much is obviously because it's pink but also because Tinkerbell is one of my favorite Disney characters. So just to have like beautiful artwork of her, we have pixie dust so it feels magical. We have the castle on there which is my favorite park icon and you know like the gold glitter like it's just a perfect t-shirt. I love it so much. You might still be able to find this in World of Disney which is where I picked this up from. But yeah, this is such like a nice classic pink tee. So if you're a pink girly and they still have this, you should definitely pick this up. And then I also wanna show you guys the one that I'm wearing because this is still official Disney merch. I picked this up from Uniqlo at Disney Springs. I don't think they still have this collection because I picked this up almost two years ago now, but on the front, it just says, it's all right, Pascal, with him in like this little cloud. We have Rapunzel underneath. And then on the arm, it just says, dare to let your hair down. And I really love the color of this. The fit of it is kind of awkward. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of like a boxy cut but yeah this is kind of how it fits it stops like right where my waist is and I feel like most t-shirts kind of come down a little bit further than that but there's also something very flattering about the way that this one fits as well especially when you have something high-waisted underneath but yeah you guys know how I feel about Tangled it is my favorite Disney movie so of course I had to pick this up when I saw it I also once again love how subtle this is and I style and wear this one all the time so now getting into all of my small shop tees we have this little mermaid one which I ordered from Etsy I believe the shop is called 100's Creative Heaven. My only issue with this t-shirt is that I wear it all the time and the screen printing has definitely faded a little bit, but I also don't really mind that look because I feel like it makes it look a little bit vintage. But I think that this is so cute. So we have our live action Ariel with the animated characters on here, but I think that this is so cute. I obviously love the colors of this. The Little Mermaid live action is my favorite live action film. So I literally wear this shirt all the time, especially when it comes to doing any kind of Little Mermaid look. But something else I really love about this tee is that it is comfort colors, which means it is a heavyweight, 100% cotton material. Comfort colors are my favorite kind of tees because they're so comfy. They fit a little bit oversized, so they always just feel so comfortable on my body. But yeah, I feel like I could go on and on about how much I love this tee. So if you're interested, I will have it linked down below. I would highly recommend. I literally dried all of these tees before I started filming so that they wouldn't look this wrinkly because I keep them folded in a drawer. So I apologize for how wrinkly this looks, but this tee is from the Lost Bros. And it just says, a dream is a wish your heart makes with the Magic Kingdom Cinderella Castle. And what I really love about this tee is that we have these butterflies all along the front, which are in kind of like this teal color in front of like the blue of the castle, as well as the blue of the shirt. I just really like the way that all these colors tie in together. And then if you're wondering why I specifically picked up this tee, it's because these kind of little teal butterflies really remind me of Taylor Swift's first album or debut, whatever we're gonna call it. It's not a Swifty tee, but for some reason it just really makes me feel like it is. And I also have butterfly earrings that match this perfectly. So 
I love this tee. I will probably continue to wear it to Magic Kingdom. It is so comfortable. The Lost Bros removes the tags off of their clothes, so I don't know the material of this, but it is very soft. And I don't know if they have this in stock. If they do, I will have it linked down below, but I really love this t-shirt and I think it's so cute. If you guys didn't know this, Dinosaur is my favorite ride in Walt Disney World. So to have some dinosaur tees, because there's plural, but this is just my first one. It just makes me so happy to own dinosaur merch, especially because it's gonna go away soon and I know that I will probably not get much more use out of these tees unless it's like around the house and stuff. But when it comes to styling, I'm very happy to have these in my collection now. But at first for the dino tees, we have this one from Magic Around the Corner. This one just says, let's go get that dino. It is once again a comfort colors tee, so 100% cotton, super soft. And something else I love about this tee, besides the saying, of course, is just this kind of like moral texture. It's not a texture, but it looks like it's a textured kind of tee. I don't know. It's just very fun to like look at. It's very fun to style because you can style it with ears or accessories that are just like this sage kind of green, or you can go in with like this darker shade of green for your accessories and stuff. And it's just the perfect Animal Kingdom tee. I really like styling this when I go to that park and I love the shirt so much. And then here's the other tee that I have, which is like stained from the wash. I don't know how bad you can really see it, but I kind of see it's like a, a upside down V shape in the center. And it's really annoying because I don't know why this is happening, but I really love this tee because it is a Tower of Terror tee, which is one of my favorite rides in Disney World. So this is from Magical Castle Embroidery. So that's another reason that I really love this tee is because it is embroidered. So we just have Hollywood 1939 with the lightning bolt in the back. Very subtle, nothing on the back of this once again. And this is another Comfort Colors tee. So 100% cotton, super comfortable, a little bit oversized. You can't tell I'm a huge fan of Comfort Color tees in particular. So it's very easy to like wear a fanny pack across this because it doesn't really cut off the logo either way that you would wear a fanny pack. And I believe that this one is still available if you want to pick it up. I'll have it linked down below once again. I'll have everything linked down below that I'm mentioning today. So you don't have to keep hearing me say that. But yeah, I really love this tee. It's perfect for obviously a day at Hollywood Studios, but also just like an everyday kind of subtle Disney tee. And it's perfect. And then this t-shirt I put with like the small shop section of my tees because I purchased this off of Amazon, but the Disney store did release this shirt recently. So I don't know if this is official Disney merch. It does say Disney Pixar on the tag. So the shirt doesn't say what the material of it is, but I would guess that it is maybe a polyester and cotton mix because it is a little bit scratchy. But the reason I picked this shirt up was for a baby shower because they had a boy story theme and that was last summer. And so I just really wanted a Toy Story tee and I didn't have one and it was kind of last minute. So I just picked this one up. Once again, I don't know the size because the tag is like really worn in. So I can't read anything, but I would imagine that I would have picked up either a large or an extra large. It's probably an extra large, but we just have our little Toy Story aliens with a rocket. We have a moon on there. It's just so cute. It's just like a little pop of color on here. We have like the green, blue, purple mix. Once again, that kind of gray moral background like we saw on the Four Town tee. This was perfect for that event. I am probably gonna style this eventually in Toy Story Land because I just feel like in front of alien swirling saucers, I can make this look really cute. I just have to come up with an idea. But yeah, this is a great tee for Hollywood Studios and just kind of around the house once again. Then we have this Guardians of the Galaxy tee and I genuinely do not remember where I picked this up from. So I'm gonna have to like go through my email history and try to figure this out because I've had this shirt for over two years now. And on the front it just says the awesome mix volume one, Guardians of the Galaxy. The material of this is 100% cotton. It is a Gildan shirt. So not the most comfortable, not nearly as comfortable as the Comfort Colors tee, but I do still like to wear this, especially for a look for Epcot in front of Guardians. And once again, I really love this tee for like crossbody kind of fanny packs and stuff like that because it doesn't cover this logo. And I feel like you could style this with, you know, like a little rocket new emo or a group new emo or something and it would be it's so cute. And so the one thing that I will say about like Gildan tees is that they do hold lint. So just kind of keep that in mind if you're interested in picking up shirts like this. I personally probably wouldn't have picked this up if I was purchasing a shirt now for Guardians just because I would lean more towards a Comfort Colors tee because now I have a preference for those. But at the time I was just picking up whatever kind of material, whatever kind of shirt I could find just to style it in front of the ride when it first opened. So I love this shirt for like the memories that it holds, but for the most part, I really don't reach for this one too often because it is not the most comfortable. But yeah, if you're looking for a nice simple Guardians tee, I do think that this is a good option. Then we have this tee, which is from Fitting Pieces & Co. They are one of my favorite Disney small shops because they do so much Taylor inspired Disney merch, which I absolutely love. So one of the shirts that I picked up from their Princess Eras collection is the Princess Eras tour with a bunch of the princesses and you know, just kind of like replicating the Eras tour tee, which is so cute. And this is a comfort colors tee. So 100% cotton, super lightweight, breathable, comfortable. And the back is what I love, not the most about the shirt because I really love the front, but this is so cute as well. So on the back, it just says Princess Eras tour. And then underneath that, we have all the princess 
dresses and their movie release dates, which I think is so freaking cute. It goes from Snow White in 1937 down to Raya from 2021. This is just so creative, so cute. I really, really love this tee. And then last but not least, we have my second dino tee, which is from the Wonder Studio. And the material of this shirt is 100% combed ring spawn cotton. So this material is very comfortable and I really love this tee, obviously because it's dino themed. So we just have a T-Rex on top of the kind of Jeep that you ride on the ride. It just says exploration, excavation, and something else that I can't read. And then on the bottom it says Animal Kingdom. On the top it says Dix County USA, Dino Institute. I really, really love how I styled this shirt on my trip in October of last year when I wore my beige Tevas and like tan shorts. I just loved that outfit. I feel like it came together so cute. I believe this one is still available if you want to check it out for yourself. And I think that it's perfect for while we still have Dino Land and Animal Kingdom. Hi guys, sorry for the jump scare, but I do actually have a whole other little pile of t-shirts that I've had at my parents' house because they're either like seasonal or they don't fit me anymore. So I've just been keeping them here because they don't really fit in my t-shirt drawer. So I was trying to save some space. And then as I was editing this video, I was like, wait, there's definitely more t-shirts that I'm like missing. So I just wanted to show you them really quickly. So this is a shirt that I'm wearing in my profile picture on Instagram and YouTube, just my profile picture everywhere really. But it just says best day ever. And I honestly don't know if I'll even be able to look up where I got this from because it is so old. But I actually have this t-shirt in my donation pile and I just don't know if I can part ways with this. I really don't because it just holds so many memories because you know it is my profile picture which it has been for the last two years and so I just feel like the shirt is like iconic even though it's not my style anymore and I'll never wear it again but just wanted to show you guys this and also the material of the shirt is 99% cotton and 1% polyester which is a pretty interesting combination. And then this is the shirt that made me realize I was definitely missing some tees in my collection but this is once again from the Lost Bros and this one is their Haunted Taylor Swift shirt. So it just says, can't breathe whenever you're going, can't turn back, now I'm haunted. And this was perfect for my Magic Kingdom look last year. I wore this in front of the ride. I got some photos. I got some photos on Main Street. I really, really love this shirt, mostly because obviously it's Taylor inspired, but it's also purple and pink, which are my two favorite colors. And then right here, it just says, you and I walk a fragile line with the lady. I don't know what her name is from the Haunted Mansion, like scene when you're in the elevator. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Like the pre-show basically of the ride. I don't know the material of this t-shirt, but it's pretty comfortable. And then this is a shirt that I personally would not buy today if I was going to be making a purchase, but I bought this for my December trip in 2022. And so it just has these little kind of like ruffled sleeves. It kind of just like cinches around your arm. So it just has Mickey and Minnie with their little, you know, Santa hat vibe kind of thing going on here. And so this material is kind of a funny mix, but it is 53% cotton, 41% Lyocell and 6% Elastane. So I don't know, it feels almost like a workout kind of material. It is very soft, breathable, stretchy. So I do like that. It's just that this really isn't my style anymore, but it did get its use. And I still think that it's cute. I just don't know how I feel about the sleeves so much anymore. And then this tee is unfortunately no longer available because the shop that this is from is now closed. But I really love wearing this when I go to the parks for the holidays, because it just says it's the most magical time of the year. I really love the font and I just think it's so cute with like all the little sparkles. It feels like it's snowing. I know I wore this to Hollywood Studios and got pictures in front of Echo Lake and it was so cute, so fun. And I really, really love this t-shirt. And I love this t-shirt even more because it is a comfort colors one. And then this shirt I got for my trip in October of last year as well. And so this is from the Pixie Place and this one actually might be available. So if you're interested, you might be able to pick this one up, but it just says Little Chef. We have Remy holding his little spoon with like the scents coming up. This is so cute. I wore this with like a pink fanny pack and I got a Remy keychain and just like pulling the pinks out of this to like really kind of make this more colorful is so fun. And once again, it's a comfort colors tee, so really love it for the material as well. And then this is my last t-shirt, I promise, but this one is from a shop that no longer exists. So unfortunately it's not available anymore, but it just says, meet me on Main Street with Taylor sipping an iced coffee wearing a Mickey hat. So cute. So this t-shirt is 100% cotton and it's definitely more of like a heavyweight material. So it's not really that breathable for the parks, but I still found that wearing this on Main Street sipping the coffee was such a cute little look that I did. And I really love this t-shirt, so I can't wait to style this again for one of my future Magic Kingdom looks. So that is it for my Disney t-shirt collection. I feel like I had a lot more than I originally thought that I had, so that's fun. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what your favorite shirt is that I've shown today, and also if you have any of the same tees as me, I would love to know. And also wherever you guys get your vintage tees from, if you are a vintage collector, please let me know that in the comments as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it will help other
other people to find it. Be sure to subscribe for new videos every Friday and I will see you real soon. Bye.